Hello, this is Mike Derry, the Extension Poultry Specialist at the University of Connecticut. And today we're gonna to talk about how to tell if your bird, if your hen, is a good egg layer or not, if she's in production. I have with me right now a single comb white leghorn. This bird lays white eggs and she's a pretty good layer and I'll tell you how I know this. One thing I'm gonna look at is something called bleaching. On a leghorn, you can look at the bleaching, um, in other words, that's the loss of color from their skin. Generally, it's a yellow color that they'll be losing. That yellow comes from feed additive or feed called xanthophyll. Xanthophyll is one of the carotenoid pigments. Think of carrots, how they're orange. That's a carotenoid pigment. In chickens, it turns yellow. So one of the first places that gets bleached is called the vent. So the vent here is pretty well bleached out. So we know that she started to lay eggs. From the vent, it goes up to the eye ring. You look around the eyes and you can see they're not really colorful. They're kind of kind of plain and bleached out looking. So we know that she's laid a few more eggs. From there, we look at the beak, the tip of the beak to the base of the beak. And we see that she's lost color there. And then we go down and we look at the legs and feet. You might see a tiny amount of yellow in here, but not very much. She's really well pigmented out, although she's lost a lot of the color on her legs and feet. So she's doing good, okay? So that's one way to tell if they're in lay, that's by color. The most important thing, however, is called handling. So when we handle, we want to see what we call the width of the body. We want to go across her hip bones with your fingers and see how wide is she. If she isn't very wide, she can't get an egg in there. So we got to make sure she has that width. Then we go down here to right across the vent. There's two bones that'll stick out. We call those the pubic bones. And as you touch the pubic bones, you can feel them. They have little points to them, okay? And then you want to see how many fingers you can get in between those pubic bones. So I'll put my fingers down here between them, and I can get a comfortable three fingers with a little room between her two pubic bones right here. Then I can flex the pubic bones, take my finger and thumb, and I flex, squeeze in just a little bit. So I know that they're flexible, and I know I can get at least three fingers across there. The next measurement is going from the pubic bones down to the tip of the keel or breastbone. And here I have a comfortable four fingers. So I call her a three by four. Three by four, so a three wide, that's a pretty good size egg, wide coming out. Now it's coming out long or large end first, so that means I can put a pretty big egg behind my three fingers there to come out. And with the depth of body here, the four, okay, that means that she's got some room in her reproductive tract for her egg. She's not pushing hard. And then you want to check the abdomen to make sure it's soft and pliable, not hard and fatty. So this hen is a really good egg layer, okay, a good producer. She's not putting, not putting all her energy into looking pretty with her feathers, although she is in pretty good feather condition. She's putting her energy into making eggs. So again, that's how you can check your bird to cull. If you don't have a good egg layer, you don't want to be feeding them. Well, tune in again later for another segment on bird health. Thank you.